Hello bookworms. It is the start of a new week and a new reading vlog. It's only the Tuesday after Book Expo and BookCon and I am going to McNally Jackson tonight for the Morgan Matson event for Save the Date and I'm really looking forward to it because I really enjoyed that book and I'm also really excited to get Since You've Been Gone signed because that's like my favorite of hers and I've never like met her like I've seen her from afar but I've never like met her up close so I'm, I'm very excited about that. I actually finished reading Thunderhead yesterday. I finished reading To Kill a Kingdom this morning and now I'm getting ready to start City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab because this book actually belongs to my friend Lily so I need to read it and then give it back to her. But it looks like it's going to be super quick because the print is really big and it's short too. And then once I finish that I'm finally going to dive into Wild Card which I'm so 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 excited for. So I feel like I'm just going to be in like serious intense reading mode. Oh, I'm also, I also started Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi, which I'm really enjoying so far. I like her writing style a lot, and I think that the main character has like a really good sense of humor. I'm not very far into it. I'm only like 25 pages into it. We are at McNally Jackson, and we are here for the Morgan Matson event. Ooh, save the day. Yes. <laughs> to get our book signed. Pretty excited. But we still have no idea who she's talking to. I know. Usually we know by now, but... Yeah, they didn't put it on the website, so it's a mystery. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> I just discovered this book by the same author as The Last Unicorn, and I need it. Uh, thanks so much for coming out to my launch event. The book comes out today, which is so exciting. Um, so the book is Save the Date. Uh, I was going to like talk a little bit about it read from it for a little bit, um, and sort of maybe talk about it a little bit again, and then answer any questions you guys have. Uh, and then we'll do some singing, if that sounds good. So Save the Date is a story about three completely chaotic, crazy days in the life of Charlie Grant. Charlie is the youngest of five siblings, and she's the only one still left at home. All her brothers and sisters have left the house. And there's a lot of change afoot in her life. Her mother's beloved long-standing comic strip is coming to an end. She's going to college in the fall and her parents are selling their house. So in the midst of all this change, when her sister's wedding rolls around, Charlie thinks it's the perfect opportunity to sort of have this perfect weekend with everyone coming back home again. He can kind of feel like it used to when she was growing up and she just wants everything to go perfectly. Unfortunately, the weekend is shaping up to be an absolute unmitigated disaster. There are surprise guests, feuding relatives, an unexpected dog, a missing tuxedo, and a paper girl with a vendetta, among many other things. <laughs> and in the midst of this, her long-standing crush, Jessie Foster, is suddenly back in town. So Charlie is trying to keep everything going well with the help of a very cute assistant wedding planner. Um, but as she kind of deals with all these crises, she begins to realize that this family she thought she knew by heart maybe has some more secrets than she realized, and that sometimes when you try and hold on too tightly to the past, you miss you might miss out on the future. And so that is Save the Date. So I just got home from the Morgan Matson signing at McNally Jackson. It was a lot of fun and there were donuts which I ate a couple of. There were mini donuts though. LaCroix, which I love. And this is like a lime flavor, which I'm really excited to have, but I took one for the road. Um, but I got both of my books signed. So I have Save the Date. So Morgan actually signed like 60,000 of these. So they were all already like pre-signed. But, so that was the pre-signature. And then she actually signed it again at the event. So it says, to Kristen, all my best, XOXO, Morgan Matson. I also got these very cute stickers for Save the Date. And, doesn't have the jacket on it, but I got my copy of Since You've Been Gone uh, signed. I almost said saved, because I'm thinking I'm Save the Date. So it says, to Kristen, all my best, Morgan Matson. And me, being still extremely overtired from BookCon and Book Expo, I completely forgot to bring my copy of The Unexpected Everything, which I definitely would have wanted to get signed too. So I just have to hope that Morgan will do another New York event in the near future. But that's about it. I am going to watch the new episode of The Bold Type tonight, and I'm really excited about it because I love that show. And yeah, so that will be the end of this night. Last time on The Bold Type. <laughs> Andrew loves the British narrator. Who the fuck is she? <laughs> She's not on the show. Who is she? I don't know. She's like the British god of the bold type. 
Hello. I'm in Central Park with Andrew and it's Friday night and we are walking around. We're actually going to Bed Bath & Beyond and Whole Foods because we're going to pick up the stuff so that we can make our own homemade Moscow mules. Um, pretty excited about it. I know you are. I'm excited. Andrew's a man of many words. Don't, only on your videos. Um, I know, usually I'm the one that doesn't talk and he's talking up a storm. But you make me nervous. <laughs> it's really pretty here, so I'm gonna show you just a clip of where we're standing. This is where we're standing. Look at that view. <laughs> From a long day on Long Island and it was really fun and had a good time at the shower and then we went to my cousin's graduation party slash my other cousin's birthday party that was really fun too and we had lots of good food and while I was on the train ride home I finished reading City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab and I really really loved the story I thought that this was such a cool concept for a book this is middle grade so I did want more from it like I wish that it would have been an extra hundred pages just so it could have been a little bit more in depth but it was like very quick paced and the story was really good so I definitely enjoyed it for what it was but I think I would have loved it even more if it had been young adult instead of middle grade but I'll talk more about this one in my wrap up I would still recommend reading it because I really loved it now I think Andrew and I are going to finish our Parks and Rec rewatch we rewatched the entire thing from season two I think Season two or season three? three. From episode. season three. The flu episode. We we started rewatching it from the flu episode. Wait, did we start from there? Didn't we start from an April and Andy episode? Yeah, that's the episode. We started in the flu episode. Okay. Because remember, no nope. one was sick, and Andy goes and sees April. Okay. So we started on the, the first flu episode and rewatched the entire thing and now we only have like one or two episodes left, but we're gonna finish it tonight. So then we'll have to find something else to watch afterward. I don't know what that will be yet, but stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, today is the first Day that I have been able to spend the entire day at my apartment since I have moved without having to go anywhere so I'm pretty excited about that it's been like a very chill and relaxing day Andrew and I played this game called overcooked that I love and we played for like hours and hours and we ended up beating the second world we haven't been advancing to the next level unless we get like the full three stars and it's been really really fun we had good teamwork although there were some testing moments there but it's all been working out. Today I just like had a bout of creativity and I felt really good about it. I think I actually have to thank Emma from Miss Emma Reads a lot because I just watched her get ready with me video where she talked about creativity and it just made me think about bookstagram and how I haven't really been doing that much 
bookstagram lately or I've been doing some but I haven't really been like happy with my photos yesterday so when we went to Long Island I brought home some stuff that I usually use for bookstagram so now I have it here and I am like I want to take more photos so I just spent a ton of time taking like so many photos and I'm really happy with the way that all of them came out so I'm feeling really good and like really re-motivated about that which is just the best feeling and I've been watching booktube and I also read the first chapter of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. My friend Chris and I are rereading the series because there is a podcast called Binge Mode that he loves and he has texted me constantly about rereading it because they're going to be reading the Harry Potter books and then they have like a really super long in-depth podcast all about the books. So the first one is coming out tomorrow and it's going to cover the first five chapters in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I was like, okay fine you did it you got me like I need to read it so I just read the first chapter I'm gonna read some more once I finish this little clip and drink my tea and then I might take more photos or watch more videos I don't know but it's honestly just been amazing to spend an entire day at home without having to do anything or go anywhere except for food shopping but that was like really quick it's like yeah I love it here. I'm so glad that I moved. <laughs> oh, and then also Andrew and I are going to be watching The Incredibles later tonight because we're going to a press screening tomorrow night to see The Incredibles 2 and we need to like brush up on the first movie because I know it's been a couple years since I have seen it at least. <laughs> Andrew and I were just lucky enough to see a press screening of Incredibles 2 and it was so good. I really love baby Jack-Jack. He is definitely my favorite character. Who's your favorite character? Hmm. Jack-Jack's a lot of fun. It's hard to... Oh, Edna. Edna. You can have the same Edna. favorite character. No. That's allowed. No, we are opposites, you and I. I do love Edna too. Edna mode. She's awesome. I thought that it was a really great second story arc and I have always thought that of all of the Pixar movies, Incredibles mm. makes the most sense to have a sequel because it's so easy to do things with superheroes. There's always some kind of villain to defeat. So like it's crazy that we had to wait this long for it, but it was so good and so worth it. There's a lot more superheroing in this movie. Yeah, absolutely. I liked um, the premise of the villain. And I liked the spoilers. <laughs> I really liked Hard that it was so about. female centric too. I like that this generation will be growing up seeing these amazing superhero ladies kicking butt. I liked everything. <laughs> it was, it was really good. I'm glad that we got to see it. Mm -hmm. You should see it. Yes, coming to a theater near you, July something or whatever. No, this Friday. This Friday, unless you're watching this after, then it's already in a theater by you, unless you're watching this way too late. What year is it? Catch it on DVD or streaming service. Blu-ray. Oh my God, are all those services gone? The monkeys have taken over. <laughs> Damn them, this they burned like, it all down. This is the most you've ever said in a vlog. This is the last semblance of humanity that's found by aliens in the future. Make sure you see Incredibles 2. <laughs> we actually, so we just got home and Andrew didn't realize that I have never seen the Jack-Jack deleted scenes from the first movie. So we have it. We have the DVD in there. I don't know. Wait, let's zoom in. Let's see if you can see. So we have the DVD in and we're about to watch that because I haven't seen it yet. And then I have to edit. Those are the sirens. The world is ending. <laughs> Future alien overlords. Uh, Make sure you watch Incredibles 2. the New York Philharmonic. Um, Andrew's co-worker, Ben, who was also in our wedding party, invited us. He does this every year. 
and this year we actually get to stay and see them play because in the past we were commuting so we always like went home before they actually started. lights for my bookshelf and I really like them. I just set them up after them getting tangled and it was really frustrating and Andrew had to help me for like probably an hour trying to untangle them. But I just finished putting them up and there's like a pile of lights on the floor because I ordered such a giant strand of them. But I really, really love how it looks. I'll do like a pan so that you guys can see. But I also figured that this would probably be a good place to end my vlog since I don't know how many days worth of footage I've taken. So before I do so, I figured I would just tell you what I am currently in the middle of reading. I'm reading Wild Card. I am over halfway through it and I'm really hoping that I'll get to finish it soon because I'm really loving it. Like every time that I have the chance to read, I am just so drawn into it and I'm like, oh yeah. And pretty much every chapter ends with me wanting to know what is gonna happen next. So I'm definitely gonna finish this very soon. And then I'm also in the middle of reading Truly Devious. I don't have a bookmark in here because I've been reading this one on ebook, but I am 70% of the way through here. So I already have like a lot of the information on the mystery and I'm very close to finishing it. I might finish this tonight, we'll see. But yeah, I'm exhausted. I have to make dinner. I'm like super sweaty because I just spent so much time trying to hang these lights up and it's the first day that it was like 90 degrees. So it's very hot, although I have air conditioning, but I didn't put it on in this room, which was a choice. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. My reading vlogs are now probably going to be like reading slash New York vlogs because I have been doing so much stuff and it's been so much fun and I really like getting to share it with you guys so hopefully you're enjoying it. I've also been writing some blog posts so there's a link down below to my blog if you are interested in seeing more New York stuff. And yeah that's all that I have for this video and I will see you guys soon in a new one. Bye! Actually we'll show you the bookshelves and then bye! Don't mind the mess on my floor but here we go got shelves and we've got light